Uh, greetings, beloved. Welcome to another episode of Lutsanbo Ekaya, Love at Home. Today we are in Manzini in a place called Fairview. We have Mrs. Mteneri and her beautiful daughter, Talent Tafagwa Mteneri. Yeah. We lost Mr. Mteneri uh, due to COVID-19 last year. Mm -hmm. So Maga Mteneri has been living as a widow for a year now. But God being God, he's keeping them well. Mm. You can see they are both looking good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Mteneri and Talent are the directors of Fastoni Pharmacies. They have two branches, one in Spofaneni, another one in Mahala. Mm. So please, if you're in Eswatini, kindly visit Fastoni Pharmacies for your medication. Yeah. How are you, Mrs. Mteneri and Tale? We are fine, Pastor and family. How are you? I, we are, are well, fine. too. Mrs. Mteneri, tell us the story. How and when did you meet with Mr. Mteneri Elasto? I met uh, my late husband in 1993. Okay. At a youth camp. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we were young by then. Mm. I knew him before. Okay. Uh, because he was very active with especially in uh, providing service as a security during youth camps. Mm -hmm. But on that particular day, we were discussing as a youth. Okay. And as we were discussing, he wanted to reinforce his um, point of view using a verse. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he came closer to me and said, Sister, read this verse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I read the verse, <laughs> after that, he said, ah, you can even take the Bible. Ah. No. I personally didn't like the Bible because it was starting from some chapter in Genesis. Okay. It was not a new Bible. Mm. So it was starting from chap some chapter in Genesis and ending also in some chapter in Revelation, not ending in Revelation chapter 22. Okay. So, Mrs. Ujeneri, there were chapters that were missing <laughs> were chapters that in were the missing. beginning and at the end. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we parted and later on, he, by then, there were no cell phones, mm. so the mode of communication was a letter. Mm. So he wrote a letter to me. Mm. I was with my friend. And when I read the letter, then I said, look at this brother. Mm. And then my friend, because we used to pray together mm. with my friend, and she was um, going to Dutch Reformed Church. She was not an okay. atheist. But we used to have prayers together. Mm. So, um, one of the, our requests to God was uh, a partner, a life partner. Mm. Okay. Mm. And mm. my personal sign was someone who's going to give me a Bible. Mm. <laughs> so, my yeah. friend, to me, the Bible, he said, ah, you can even take the Bible. To me, it was not like giving me as an answered prayer. Mm. Mm. Because it had missing pages. Mm. It's my friend who clicked this in my mind and said, you know, sister, we used to pray for your mm. partner and your son is a life Bible. And I said, what kind of a Bible is this one that you gave me? Then my friend said, did you really tell God that you want the Bible? Let's start from Genesis chapter 1 uh -huh. and ends in Revelation chapter 22. Yeah. So some sense clicked in me and I had to take some time praying about it. Mm. And um, I was not in a hurry. Yeah, and by then all girls were also not in a hurry, it could mm. even take a year to make a decision. Yeah, so I actually took my decision later in the beginning of uh, 1994. Mm. That's mm. when I said yes. Wow, then wow. he told me that you know what, that day something told me that this is going to be my one. Mm. Mm. That's how it started. Mm. And um, in, in, in 1996, August, mm -hmm. that's when he came to my parents to pay the whole life. Okay. And um, 27 October mm -hmm. 1996, uh, we typed the note in church. Wow. Wow. And mm -hmm. um, our wedding took place a year later in 1997, mm -hmm. that is in April. Mm -hmm. So from the time you, they paid Lobola up to the time you actually wedded in church, 
were you staying together or you remained at your parents place i was actually working by then okay so i was at my workplace and he was at his own workplace uh -huh. and we in until the day that we were wedded wow yes, yeah. yes. um how many children were you blessed with in your marriage uh we have got with this beautiful girl wow and she's the, the only one, one. Mm. Yeah. wow mm. actually my has my late husband mm. just wanted one child okay for the reasons best known to us which mm. we cannot really divulge mm. Mm. Yes. so he even told his mother so when i get married i'm going to have one child please do not think it's my wife it's me mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Uh, for how long did you stay together with uh, mr antenary um we've been together for 24 years. Wow. Yeah. 24 years yeah. is a blessing. And how was your relationship with him? Oh, it was so sweet. Ah. From day one up to the day I last talked to him, it mm. was the 8th of January. Mm. Although he was in pain, mm. he was just trying to be sweet. Mm. Yes. Wow. It was such a blessing. Um, Tell me, how was your relationship with your dad? Um, my relationship with, with my father, it was wonderful. Mm. It was wonderful. I would actually start from the beginning. Mm. I was born in 1997, yeah. on the 27th of June. Mm. So I wouldn't know, maybe... Um, from the day I was born, oh. how the relationship was. Mm -hmm. But what I remember is my father, I wouldn't want to be taken away from my father. Mm -hmm. I remember there is this other year, uh, mom had to go further her studies and I was left with, with my father. Mm -hmm. And when we go to church and the ladies at church would be like, oh, you can give us the, the child. So mm -hmm. I can take care of the child. Now immediately, he gives them. <laughs> Actually, they take me. <laughs> I would start crying. I would be like, I just went dirty. Wow, dirty <laughs> <Dennis> girl. <laughs> would, would would even um, my father used to to watch TV until late. Mm. When I was very very young, I would just sit next to him, and then I sleep mm. next to him. Yeah. Immediately, someone tries to take me away from him. I'll start crying. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are so so. Cool. Our relationship was always like that, mm. up to the end, in such a way that um, it was always daddy and me. Mm. Yes, mm. It was always daddy and me. Everything we used to do, I just know I have my father to talk to. Mm -hmm. I have a best friend to talk to. Oh, yeah. Anything I would need, I'll just come to to both mom and dad, and, and I know dad won't have problems mm -hmm. with me. So it was always like that. Mm -hmm. Um. So how has been life without him in your, without his presence in your life now? Life has, has been hard, it's, uh, it has not been easy mm -hmm. since we received the sad news on the 9th of January 2021. Mm -hmm. um, the, the last time I saw him was the, the week earlier. So he passed away on Saturday, the 9th mm -hmm. of January 2021. And we, I last saw him the previous week on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. He was mm. not really feeling well and we had to rush him to the hospital. Mm. Mm. So I had to, to drive him. He was sitting next to, to me uh, mm. by the passenger seat. I could see that things were not easy. Mm. But we just have to we just had to be strong. Yeah. This was around uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. Mm. Actually we left the house around half past twelve. We arrived at a certain hospital, then we had to be moved to another hospital. So mm. as we're traveling to the other hospital, which is close to 20 kilometers, mm. 
I could see that my father was really struggling mm. and when we got there he he just had to use he the strength that he had to just tell me that um everything will be fine mm. but unfortunately yeah. it was the last day that Ooh. when I saw him mm. 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 but it seems like those words are still testifying to your life today. Mm. Yeah. Everything will be fine. Um, uh, mm. From the look of things, as I am looking at you, I can see that it's fine. Um, and uh, Mrs. Intended, how has it been on your side? Yeah, it has not been easy, mm. but God being faithful, here I am. Yeah. Actually, when I received the news, my okay, I'm hypertensive. Mm. Um, my blood pressure was very high, even in sugar. Mm. Then my doctor said, No, we just have to check to see whether you can give you medication. Mm. Um, with time, the sugar normalized. It's not easy. Mm. Mm. to be alone mm. when you're used to someone who would be such a loving person mm. do you know even those arguments you miss them mm. 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 you really mm. miss them and say ah, I wish he was around mm. because with us before we even got married we had some policies to mm. guide us in marriage mm. um, for example we used to call each other fools if we argue for more than 20 minutes mm. so if this one is saying a and he's saying b for more than 20 minutes we say we are being fools mm. let's ignore and talk about other things mm. and then we come to back to the issue later mm. so you find now i even say ah, i miss those 20 minutes mm. arguments that mm. you can have you miss everything you really miss everything yeah and uh, spiritually you know, just like yesterday we were having uh, Lord's Supper. Mm. It really took me back because mm. we used to enjoy those things together. Then we come here, we talk about it. Mm. It was my first Lord's Supper without him. Mm. Mm. It's not really easy. Yeah. It's not really easy. Mm. Even the bedroom itself becomes big, the bed, mm. everything. Mm. Yeah. But by God's grace, yeah, here mm. we are. Amen. Mm. Amen. Living one day at a time. Mm. Mm. So, from your relationship with me, with Elaston Tenier, and your life experience so far, is there any lessons or advice you would like to share with some couples watching this video? Oh, yes. I would actually want to say, you know, my late husband taught me that in marriage, you don't have to fight. Mm against each other. You mm. have to fight for your marriage. Yeah. Mm. So there were some policies that we had in place before any problem comes. Mm. Like the example that I've given you that we wouldn't want to argue for more than 20 minutes. Mm. If 20 minutes elapses, then something like that. Yeah. Then we change the story. Mm. Yeah. We put that one on hold mm. and then we prayerfully look at it later. Mm. Mm. Number two, um, we also had a policy that in, in our bedroom, mm. we don't talk about other issues that are outside bedroom. Mm. If you have lost the bedroom during the day, you have lost it. Mm. Yeah. You don't start it in the bedroom. Mm. It was something that uh, kept us going. Yeah. And now I really appreciate it that he's gone because we did not waste much time mm. bringing stories which are not really... Yeah. And uh, one thing that I would also advise couples is mm. enjoy life together. Yeah. Mm. Time is very short. Mm. Yeah. Mm. With mm. us, we're mm. planning that, uh, you know, when we'll be 70, when we'll be having mm. grandchildren. Mm. Yeah. It never can mm. to be reality. Mm. Mm. So life is really short. Yeah. yeah. Try your best. Be together most of the time. Mm. I'm reflecting even on. on um, social issues like when we used to go to Songcholo and watch this the the soccer together. Mm. Personally, I was mm. not a soccer fan, mm. but mm. Uh, mm. somehow yeah. showed me to love that. Mm. Right now, I have something to, to to think about and reflect about. Mm. 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 Watching TV together, I used to like soccer so much. So watching TV, you would even say 
when we are watching TV, the three of us, they were watching soccer. Mm. Let's support one team. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah. once we support different teams, uh -huh. it will start from there. Mm. And mm. more things will come which will bring arguments. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So mm. you find most of the time, yes, this team will be the one yeah. in which all of us will tend to, mm. to support. Mm. So mm. I, I, I advise the couples do things together. Oh, yes. Don't, don't take things to be personal. Mm. Know that you are in a war where the devil is fighting marriages. So hold each other to fight for your marriage, mm. not against it. Ah. Even when things are hot, I remember my sister came and said, you guys, you are always happy. There mm. was actually a hot potato. There was an issue that was just put aside. Mm. Not that um, we, life was rosy throughout, mm. but we could manage. Mm. So when people come in, they find us laughing and all the, those things. They think life is rosy. Yet there's a hot potato. We have just said, no, let's set this aside. Mm. We'll come back to it. Mm. So uh, I advise the couples, please, life is short. Oh, Enjoy yes. to be together. Mm. And also um, learn to, 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 to be so prayerful. Mm. If there's something, some way where you differ, ask for wisdom from God. Mm. God will intervene and things will be right. Oh, yes. I've experienced it that when you really have differences and you pray about it, mm. yeah, God mm. is a way to mm. solve all problems. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Magim Chene. I think I can actually testify. I remember there was a time when the Zimbabwe national team came to Swaziland. Mm -hmm. They were playing against Swaziland. Eh? Mm -hmm. I actually saw you in the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I can testify. <laughs> Sure, sure. You would actually say he was mm. a family man. Mm. Yeah, he was mm. a family man. Yeah. So to him, family was first. Mm. I remember mm. the other time when he was texting me in, in when he was in class, mm. learning, yeah. and he was busy texting me, saying, you know what we are doing here? I don't even understand <laughs> and, and all those things. Uh -huh. And you would find, mm. I was even saying to my daughter, yeah. you can even go over our WhatsApp. Mm. Believe me not. Mm. He was someone who would try to, to be so loving. Mm -hmm. You live, he, he would actually, every day, he would take me um, to the, mm -hmm. where I usually, usually catch my transport. Mm -hmm. But at times, when well, I'm on my way there, you'd find out that he would text something romantic there. Mm -hmm. And my WhatsApp, my Facebook, I was sent to my daughter. You can also go over our messages mm. that we use to take each other. It helps you to know because marriage is not about fights. Wow. Mm. Marriage is about I'm missing you. Mm. I can't wait for evening to come. Mm. And that was him. Mm. That was him. Wow. And uh, I liked. I also like the fact that you talked about um, how you met with Elastom Teller. Uh, you were prayerful. And uh, God answered their prayer. Mm. Do you have just some brief advice for also young people that are contemplating marriage? Yeah, I would really want to say the author of marriage is God. Mm. And he's the one who says it's not good for a man to be alone. Mm. So I believe if you diligently seek God in prayer, Amen. he's going to answer. Mm. Yes. And also when you seek God in prayer, do not say God put a stamp of approval on that one. Yeah. Ask God first yeah. and God will show you. Yeah. And you know, at times when also you are asking yeah. God, He also gave us wisdom yeah. to show the difference. Yeah. So don't just ask God and then anything that comes your way, you say, ah, because I prayed. Mm. You also have to use your wisdom. Yeah. God yeah. help him. I believe there are still people out there who are really good mm. and who can make one happy Amen. if you really seek God in mm. prayer. Amen. Mm. Amen. Thank you very much, my brother, for that. Um, Tali, do you have uh, any advice for young people that are in the same scenario as yourself? All right. Uh, what I can advise uh, the young people is that God is always there for us. Mm. Mm. 
God is always there for us. Yes. I've, I've learned to accept mm. that God sometimes allows other things to happen because there's always a reason. Mm. It might be hard for us, mm. but uh, we know that our Heavenly Father is always there for oh, us. Yes. Mm. Oh, yes. oh. I can actually testify because what happened is that when 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 my earthly father passed away mm. i then went on my knees and i was like heavenly father mm. you decide to allow this to happen mm. so what is the way forward you need to protect us mm. because again the devil at that point probably is happy mm. he's seeing two women mm who are now left with these businesses and the devil is like yeah mm. today we got you mm. but the heavenly father is always there to protect mm. so that's what i would advise the young people mm. and also i would advise them to to if there are also other earthly fathers who are willing to assist. Mm. They should also accept oh, yeah. the assistance from uh, these earthly fathers. Because personally, I do have uh, earthly fathers who do check up on me, mm. find out how I'm doing. Mm. And this is really comforting because you know that you will have, you do have earthly fathers that you can talk to. Mm. But the, the greater father ah. is the one in heaven. Mm. Personally, I when I have a problem, I just go on my knees mm. and be like, Father, what should I do? Oh, yes. Do you need mm. to help me? Mm. You need to guide me. You need to give me the wisdom. Mm. Mm. So personally, I think that that's what I would, I would advise. Mm. 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 Wow. Great and you know, advice. the Bible says he's the father of the fatherless mm. and he's the defender of the widows. Mm. Um, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. Thank you so very much, Mrs. Mtenuri and Tade. It is my prayer that the Lord will bless you in your business, in your family. May the good Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so very much for your time and the words of wisdom. Mm. Amen. Amen.